MSU has a new GPS collar deer study ongoing in which they are putting GPS collars on bucks and does in the South Delta and in Benton County to see the impact that long-term flooding and CWD is having on our deer population. Is the population actually starting to go down in North Benton County? And this data is going to tell us that. It's going to compare these deer movements through the GPS studies. It's going to look at DNA studies through feces. Use it as a method to figure out how many deer are on the landscape. And also you looking at uh, passive trail cameras, meaning no bait, unbaited trail camera studies. All this encompassed into one research project that's going to tell us how flooding and CWD is impacting Mississippi's deer population with just a few deer in the sample that we caught last winter. A buck in the South Delta was caught within a few hundred yards of where we found the first CWD positive deer. When the Mississippi River began to rise, the backwater began to rise, on March 13th, he jumped in the Mississippi River and swam to Louisiana. He stayed there until the first week of August. He jumped back in the river and swam back to Mississippi. Two weeks ago, he was back within a half a mile of where we caught him at. That deer went 18 straight line miles. A doe that was collared at the same time in the same area went 14 and a half miles north and stayed there even after the water began to recede and then came back to have her fawns back in late June. We're seeing much further than expected deer movements out there with these collars. It's really opening our eyes to how far deer are actually going.